Tesla operates in some of the largest industries in the world, and Elon Musk has created multiple businesses within these major economic sectors, each vying to become trillion-dollar enterprises. The car sales business has been at Tesla's core, making up about 95% of the company's operations. Tesla has even hit a valuation of over a trillion dollars on car sales alone in the past, and with millions more electric vehicles to be sold, this business is gargantuan. It's joined by the adjacent energy and battery storage business, which Elon Musk believes will be just as large as automotive, and is currently growing faster than auto. Tesla also operates the supercharger network, which, by allowing competitor EVs to charge on, could make Tesla the world's gas station. There are also moonshot projects such as full self-driving, which have massive potential to create a trillion dollar robo-taxi business, or even Tesla's dojo supercomputer, a long shot bet that Elon Musk plans to turn into a money printing powerhouse. However, there's one investor who couldn't care less about any of these businesses, but still thinks that Tesla's market cap could explode into the $10 trillion range with just one product. Tesla's Optimus robot has piqued the interest of a famed investor, who believes it can be worth multiple times the rest of Tesla's businesses combined, rendering them basically insignificant. But he isn't even banking on the idea of an Optimus robot inside every home. Instead, he arrives at his astonishing $10 trillion valuation through a completely different lens, making it seem surprisingly conservative and leaving enormous potential for even greater heights. And before we continue, stop using Yahoo Finance, stop using Google Finance, and have a look at our website, themarketisopen.com, where we have instant stock quotes and quarterly financial data going back up to 15 years, and it's all freely available. Over a year ago, I made the case that it was time to begin including Tesla's Optimus robot into the company's valuation. It was clear that Tesla was putting a real effort behind this initiative, but more importantly, Tesla essentially already has all of the ingredients, including hardware expertise and the AI software needed, in order to bring this product to fruition. If any other company announced a robot, it would lack the credibility and ambition that Tesla brings to the table. But remarkably, we've seen multiple companies follow suit, unfailing robot announcements of their own. Startups like Figure, which was founded just recently in 2022, made headlines by partnering with OpenAI for its new humanoid robot. Or even Boston Dynamics, a pioneer in the robotics space, who's been working on hydraulic-based humanoid robots for decades, has abruptly pivoted by retiring Atlas in exchange for a new electric version of Atlas. There suddenly seems to be a surge of competition, all fighting for dominance in the humanoid robot arena. However, Elon Musk is not just trying to build a cool humanoid robot. He's aiming to scale this to millions, envisioning machines capable of handling virtually any task that humans can do, thereby greatly expanding the economy. Tesla specifically emphasizes scalability when discussing their robots, contrasting with companies like Boston Dynamics that focus solely on enriching lives. While admirable, it's the ambition to scale to millions that promises a truly meaningful and valuable impact. Tesla's designing Optimus from the ground up for mass production, which is a far cry from building just a handful of robots. If any company has a proven track record of constructing factories optimized for scaling their core products, it's Tesla. For that reason, if Tesla hits its stride within the next half decade or so, achieving meaningful robot sales in the millions, feasible given that these robots are smaller, with fewer components than cars, and a battery pack 30 times smaller, then the financial potential could be enormous by 2030 or 2035. And this anticipated success carries tremendous value today when discounted to the present. Investor Chris Camillo thinks this is possible and was hoping that Tesla stock would get hit so that he could open his position betting on this future. Chris Camillo is a renowned investor and entrepreneur, 
best known for his unconventional and highly successful approach to stock market investing. He gained prominence for turning a modest initial investment into millions by leveraging social media trends and human behavior insights to predict market movements. The traditional way of thinking about Tesla's Optimus product is the same way as Tesla's car sales. Investors typically estimate the price at which a robot like this may jive with the consumer, say $25,000 is the sweet spot, and then multiply that by unit sales. If Tesla sells a million robots, that's $25 billion in revenue. At 10 million robots, that's $250 billion in revenue, especially as Optimus makes its way into consumer households. But Chris Camillo throws this all away. In fact, he doesn't care about consumer sales at all. He's focused on selling Optimus to businesses, which is where the real money is at, and can be extremely profitable for Tesla, and at the same time, save businesses millions of dollars while making them more productive. Instead of selling an Optimus robot for its value in hardware, Tesla should, and likely will, sell Optimus for its economic value. In an interview with Herbert Ong, Chris Camillo offers a compelling valuation model for Tesla's Optimus robot. He estimates that companies would pay $16.88 per hour for robot labor, requiring the robots to work a minimum of 16 hours per day for 350 days a year. Imagine a factory or even retail or restaurant robot that only takes breaks for charging, or maybe even uses an extension cord to charge never calls in sick, and can work around the clock. This translates to an annual cost of $94,000 per robot, which is quite reasonable compared to traditional employees who require salaries, benefits, vacation, and health care. There are also no regulations or unions for robots until they start to demand all this stuff. But this is also like having two non-stop workers in a row, since humans work eight hours a day while the robot is working 16. There's also no reason why the robot can't be pushed closer to 24 hours a day, but for this purpose we'll be using 16 hours. Camillo also assumes that Tesla would lease these robots and cover their upkeep, which he conservatively estimates at $8,000 per year per robot. This arrangement would yield an unbelievable 90 plus percent gross profit margins for Tesla. Now the craziest thing here is that he then multiplies this by what he believes will be Tesla's unit sales, which is just 1.5 million robots in total for now. Camillo himself calls this conservative, but this results in a $129 billion gross profit opportunity. He then multiplies this by a PE ratio of 80 times and gets to a $10 trillion valuation. Now again, the wildest thing is the 1.5 million robots, because that's a cumulative number Tesla doesn't have to hit that number in the first year or anything like that. And if Tesla builds another 1.5 million robots, that doubles the size of the existing fleet. And so in the second year, the gross profit would be twice as much and could potentially double the valuation as well. At that rate, Tesla would need its own fleet of robots to maintain the fleet that's out in the field. But really, the unit sales are not that high. Since as outlined earlier, robots are much smaller than cars requiring fewer parts, and Tesla has already proven its ability to ramp up large objects at scale. Doing this with robots at an even smaller scale seems attainable. Another major difference is that this $129 billion is a reoccurring thing. When you sell the robots for $25,000 apiece, the sale is complete. However, by charging for the full economic value yearly, this is far more valuable and profitable for Tesla. Furthermore, the 80 times PE ratio may seem high, but Camilla was factoring in a substantial continued growth rate. It could be astounding that over many years as Tesla builds up to 10 million robots and so forth, the valuation becomes literally unbelievable. And that's why Camilla is so excited about just this quote unquote small commercial opportunity for Tesla and doesn't care about the car business at all, especially when looking at these kinds of numbers. Now, of course, Optimus needs to be ready with real AI capabilities that can accomplish real-world tasks. And that's one of the true challenges that Tesla has. The software will be far more difficult to build and perfect than the hardware, which has challenges of its own. 
but it also doesn't need to handle all of the use cases perfectly right out of the gate. Even if Optimus gets really good at just one simple task at a time, it could create and displace tremendous value. Tesla is teaching it to fold clothes already, and while this is done at home a lot, it's also a routine task at many retail stores. And so this business model is very interesting. In the previous example, Chris Camillo also estimates that it would cost $60 billion to build all of these robots in the first place. But that's a one-time charge, as the robots would continue working for multiple years. There's also some leeway with how Tesla decides to ultimately sell this product and service. If you think about vehicles, consumers pay for the car, and when FSD is ready for prime time, Tesla can take a 30% cut of all Uber-style drives, which could be a massive yearly figure, with the upfront cost covered by the consumer. Humanoid robots could be similar, where people buy the robot outright with some basic functionality, but in order to work at a business, they may require more specialized apps, where you would pay per hour or on demand. For instance, to have the laundry folding specialist, it's $16 an hour. But to have a professional chef, it's, say, $30 an hour. And in that sense, there's a way to capture the economic value for different types of tasks. And that could generate even more profit for Tesla in the long term, similar to how Amazon AWS has different tiers of pricing its various services and hardware configurations. It's also a way of removing any upfront cost to Tesla, which is what they do for FSD. Sell the robot and charge an hourly rate for the app. Apple does this with their phones. In that way, it turns the entire opportunity into an even more massive profit center and will still likely make a lot of sense for businesses who will spread this upfront cost over multiple years that the robot is in service. Now, investors have been late on including Optimus within Tesla's valuation. Even if you start at zero, and build up the valuation using only robots being built in 5 to 10 years from now, you still need to discount these revenue and profit streams to today. And then you would result in a valuation far greater than Tesla's current market cap, but on Optimus alone. Camillo is a long-term swing trader, and he's looking for short-term weakness in Tesla to open his position but then believes it could take three years or so before investors just begin to recognize the true potential for what Elon Musk is planning. And so the opportunity for Optimus appears to be massive, just looking at commercial partners only, while Elon Musk raises the mind-bending question of what an economy really is if labor becomes limitless, Camillo begins to bring this to reality by putting a rough valuation on this endeavor, which yields astronomical valuations given fairly conservative production estimates. So do you think this is realistic for Tesla to achieve? Will they be able to create a useful robot that can literally replace moderate paying jobs that require some physical labor? And will consumers actually pay these yearly salaries to these specialized robots? Don't forget to watch my last video on Tesla's latest semi-truck update. Please hit the like button and subscribe, we would really appreciate that. And a huge shout out to all of our patrons that help to support our channel. Your support helps us to continue to make great content. Thank you guys so much for watching.